My name is Jaheem Kelly. I'm 17 years old. And I go to Tilden Educational Campus, specifically Cultural Academy for the Arts and Sciences. Sometimes it can be very dangerous, especially close by this area. There could be shootings at literally any moment at any given time. In this corner of Flatbush, Brooklyn, this windowless basement apartment means safety for Jaheem and his father, Ann Lee. Sometimes in my room, I can hear it. I worry the instant like a shot goes off, I just sit there and my heart beats, you don't know, rapidly. And I just think about it, interrupt my thought process, my how my brain works, it interrupts everything. I can't think properly, I can't study properly, I can't do nothing. That's why I took him to school whenever I'm off. On my days off, I try to take him to school because every day you watch the news, somebody's got shot just by minding their own business, just by going to the store, just by sitting in their vehicle. And they got to do something about the, um, the gun violence in the city because it's getting out of control. Jaheem's father works as a security guard in a mental health facility. He says he'd move from here if he could afford it. In terms of violence, poverty, lack of opportunity, lack of resources, you understand? These are the areas that you see all of this happening. It doesn't happen in, in Manhattan and, and areas where schools are being funded properly. I don't want my son to go to school in an area where he's not safe. I think that's guaranteed that he could walk from the bus stop to school safely because of what's happening around him, which is not his fault but because of generation and generation of disparity that's been going on in our neighborhood and in our city and in our boroughs. Sixteen-year-old girl in critical condition tonight. We've learned she attends Cobble Hill High School, and she was just hanging out with friends, sitting on a bench after school when she was shot. Meanwhile, that playground remains closed off by crime scene tape. Police continue the search for the shooters. I hate taking the train, the subway, because of how dangerous it is. You can never expect what happens. Recently, there was a shooting. Thank God no one was killed. That stuff really scares me. I hate taking the subway. I really, I'd rather take the bus anywhere, I go. The bus gets him safely to school. To enter, students must pass through metal detectors. Jaheem says that's something he'd like to see go. Some laws, I guess, I would reduce some of the laws to make it feel less of like a prison sometimes. Sometimes you can't go to the bathroom in like the first or last period and some kids have bladder problems or sort, they can't really use the bathroom most of the times so because it's strict. Jaheem plays volleyball after school. It's one of his few moments of real freedom. After school, I'll mainly just go straight home. Straight home, do nothing. Because the school doesn't offer robust after-school programs, it can't afford them. Ann Lee, Jaheem's father, wanted to send him to an elite, specialized school. Brooklyn Tech. One of those schools is most likely Asians, white Americans. Those are a school that's been well-funded, put it that way, where kids got a lot more opportunity to excel so that's just one of the schools I wanted to enroll them in. Given what Jaheem's been dealt, he's doing well in school. But he's got lots of friends who aren't. This is his classmate, Troy. He's struggling just to graduate. I feel like I need a break from high school. It's just really stressed altogether. I need a break. Everything, basically. I feel like the way they pour out all this knowledge in my head I can't learn that fast. I am a very slow individual. I will listen. And if it gets to the point where like they're taking too long to explain, I just stop functioning halfway, just like daydream. 
I have this blank face on my face when you're just like in blank face, basically. I feel like every time I'm walking like in day and in night, I have to check behind me every 24-7. You, 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 just out of safety and feel like anxiety and stuff. But besides that, nothing really happens. I just reach home safe and it's just my head like spinning, overthinking and stuff. This at 17. These boys lived trapped lives, moving between an underfunded school that feels more like a jail to their homes and back again. 